This video is brought to you by Sporlin. Quality, integrity, tradition. What's going on everyone? Got a little drive ahead of me today. Heading down to a internet provider's uh, work site. They have a bunch of server rooms, and battery rooms. Really old building. Uh, kind of cool, kind of creepy. There's like five stories, but only two of them are above ground. So um, it's an interesting place. I'm going to do some filter changes. I've got a uh, lever condenser coil to clean. And I believe there's also a service call uh, that was called in for the site while I'm down there. So uh, I don't know what it is. We'll see when we get there. I'm just turning the camera on today, guys. I got no real agenda or mission with this video. We'll see what comes. I will edit whatever happens and I'll make a video out of it. So let's see what we get into. grabbed lunch turned out to be a pretty boring eventless day after all so looks like the guy who was here didn't really he wasn't the one that put in the call about the service call potential at this facility so he didn't know he had no idea everything to him is running fine I didn't see anything that wasn't running so really all I ended up doing was driving two and a half hours do some filter changes kind of just a little bit of a walkthrough so i thought maybe i could really quick show you guys the prm6 that's the the tool i got from amp probe i was going to do an unboxing video but maybe i'll just uh bust it out right here and just show you guys kind of how it works
Oh, what the f Well, so far so good. Um, that's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that. So clearly I was able to demonstrate the tool showing us the rotation uh, no matter what direction it was oriented in. So as soon as I spun it around, it actually changed and said right instead of left, but the arrow still indicated the same direction both times. So if you can see here, that's our return side. That's our supply. So we, we absolutely want our direction to be this way if it's driving our motor and a centrifugal blade with curved blades like this we want it to scoop up towards the supply And there you have it. That's good reading. It's telling us both times it goes this way. So all in all, that was a pretty cool little demonstration. Finally got to see that thing in action. On uh, more than one machine, give me good readings both times. So I already knew those blowers were running in the right direction, but it was still a good little test to see what its capabilities are on in kind of like a hands-free sense. Being able to wirelessly do that is pretty cool, especially for machines that maybe uh, it is not practical to shut the power off to get inside and see the direction or if it's a pump being able to see the impeller know what way the impeller is moving so yeah again i don't know if that's like a daily carry type tool something that's uh, definitely maybe a bit of a luxury but mm, i don't know it did what it said it was going to do so in that sense what can i really say bad about it it's just a matter of you determining if it's something worth worth you carrying if it's the type of equipment that you deal with on a frequent basis if you don't do a lot of three-phase stuff well don't get the prm6 um, if you're in a lot of big situations where it's maybe not reasonable to shut power off or get access to be able to see or feel the direction that the uh, blower is actually moving yeah might be something worth picking up so anyway let's get back outside even though i locked my van uh, i don't want to leave it out there too long with my new neighbors so let's go check it out
know if you guys, any of you guys that aren't really accustomed to seeing equipment like that, like especially down that basement, you know, those air handlers, believe it or not, were only five ton. Those were extremely old Yorks. I mean, those were original to the building. I want to say 40 years old, probably. Now, don't get me wrong. Air handlers are still built like that today in a lot of ways. And they're made like that because they're flexible and they're modular and they're custom made to the application. That's really all it comes down to. So air handlers like that, they are ordered specifically for that building and they have the ability for all kinds of extra add-ons and components to be built into it. You know, hydronic coils, that air handler. Now that was just a DX, you know, straight AC unit. It didn't have heat. It didn't have, it, was, it wasn't an ERV. It wasn't anything like that, but it could have had, you know, a hot water coil put in there as well. Could have had a heat wheel, pre-filters, final stage filters, you know, depending on what that customer wanted, it could have been done on a piece of machinery like that. Piece together from the factory, and then you can really add whatever, whatever condenser you want to it. So like I said, those were five ton units. Um, if you went up to the roof, you'd see pretty standard condensing units up top, nothing big and huge and intimidating. Um, in fact, there's even a five ton Goodman up there off one of those York air handlers. So uh, in fact, let's go take a look real quick before I go. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying hydrated. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.